Today, I'm talking about waterfall countertops. Some trends come and go, but this trend seems to have some staying power. A waterfall countertop is easily recognizable because the same countertop material is used across the top, obviously, and then it continues by dropping vertically down the sides to the floor, just like a waterfall. It doesn't just stop abruptly at the edge of the cabinet. I love this great design feature. So let's talk about all things waterfall countertops. First off, I really do feel like this design feature is a modern or contemporary design detail. It really does belong in a modern interior. So I would steer clear of this design detail if you've got a very traditional home and you're not mixing in modern touches. But if you have a modern or contemporary interior, then a waterfall detail might be what you're looking for. It really makes a statement. Like this. Most waterfall countertops are made from natural stone where that 90 degree corner can be mitered to create that seamless look from top to side. Marble is really popular because the natural veining in that material can be so beautiful and by creating a waterfall detail, that beautiful veining continues across the top and down to the floor. There's a real sense of flow that happens. And I think that's what most people love about it. I'd look for stone slabs that have a striking pattern where you can really celebrate nature's art and make a statement. Without the waterfall edge, that stone might not even be noticed unless you're up close. But with it continuing on the sides, it's much more visible. Waterfall countertops look great on kitchen islands because it provides a real sense of purpose and place for your island by further establishing a grounding effect in your kitchen. The island is already the center of attention by its very nature of being in the middle, but the waterfall countertop draws even more attention to it. I love the simplicity of the waterfall countertop too. It hides the surface of the cabinet underneath or the visual mess of chairs while providing a clean, flat surface and therefore a clean, streamlined aesthetic. What if you don't have a kitchen island? Not to worry, you can still have a waterfall countertop. So long as you have an exposed end cabinetry, you can finish it up with a waterfall countertop detail. Even the end of a peninsula like this. I love that flow, do you see it? Bathroom vanities are another great way to introduce the waterfall countertop. I love how the waterfall contains or hugs the cabinetry on either end. It looks great with cabinetry that is super sleek and simple. What if you're not a fan of natural marble? Then you can use granite or quartz too. In fact, the popularity of this design detail is being interpreted in other materials like concrete or even wood. And I love this beautiful detail where the waterfall edge doesn't even have to go all the way to the floor. I love how this particular piece of wood naturally and organically just ends. Materials aren't the only thing that changes the look of the waterfall countertop. The thickness of the countertop is important too. Super thin. Or something a little more chunky. Just make sure you keep the thickness the same from across the top down the sides. Keep that measurement consistent. Waterfall counters are definitely a modern touch to your interior. You should expect additional costs because you'll need more material than if you were to have the countertop end along the top, as well as additional charges for cutting and installation. But in the end, if you've chosen your material wisely, you'll love that clean, streamlined look of a beautiful waterfall countertop. Thanks for watching this design video. Are you loving the waterfall look? Let me know in the comments below or leave a question. I love hearing from you. If you found this video helpful, then please hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more videos on interior design just like this one. Thanks again for watching everybody and I'll see you next time.